guys, welcome to Jellyverse. My name is Santiago and I'm super happy that you're here. This is the first video of our video series explaining Jellyverse. And today we're going to talk about Jellyverse in general. We're going to introduce a whole topic. So let's start right into it. If you enjoy this video, please leave a like or subscribe to the channel. This will help us a lot to grow the community. So let's get started. Jellyverse is a universe ruled by Jelly. It aims to follow the path to the next generation of DeFi, DeFi 3.0 a generation of DeFi protocols where we see it's very usable, it's very user-friendly, it's very focused on sustainability, not only solely powered by inflation, and definitely DeFi protocols that bring more utility to the space that we have seen so far. Jellyverse as of right now contains all of JellySwap, JellyStake, JUSD, JellyPond, and obviously the Jelly token. It's a lot of jellies inside there, but it's also a lot of protocols. JellySwap is going to be highly flexible. You can do a lot on JellySwap. You can have managed portfolios. There's a lot of utility that we are bringing here to DeFi chain, extending the use case of the native DeFi DEX. There will be different pool classes where you can look into standard pools with up to three tokens and portfolio pools with up to eight tokens. Of course, you can also build standard pools with just two tokens in one pool. But the vision is very, very clear. On JellySwap, you have those self-rebalancing automated portfolios that allow you in a decentralized way to have a fixed allocation in your assets to put this liquidity to work by lending it to the decentralized exchange and then keeping this in your favorite ratio and getting paid for doing so instead of paying a fund manager to do this for you. The next candidate is JUSD. JUSD is a bulletproof stablecoin that allows you to leverage inside of Jellyverse. It's going to bring the capabilities to DeFi chain that you can deposit Bitcoin, DeFi, Ethereum and Jelly as collateral and you can borrow JUSD. JUSD is a stablecoin again packed to the US dollar and it has a very very bulletproof mechanism to keep its track. If JUSD falls below a dollar you can redeem it against the face value of one dollar against collateral in the system and if the JUSD is above a dollar ten then arbitrage is happening to get the price down to a dollar ten meaning that the maximum premium on JUSD might be 10 cents and everything that is happening between a dollar and a dollar ten is integrated in the system as well so there's clear incentives to push down the price when it comes into a slight premium and I'm very very happy that we are building the fundament of JUSD on a very well aged and proven protocol the LUSD liquidity stablecoin that works on Ethereum without any problems. Jellybond is going to be one of the most craziest protocols that we have and this is definitely one of the protocols that goes beyond what you maybe have seen so far on other blockchains or have you interacted with. Jellybond aims to trade a situation where users can playfully trade against each other and whether you trade very efficiently or maybe less efficiently your profit might increase or decrease so it's a playful way of trading which will increase the whole utility and trading inside of Jellyverse but behind the scenes Jellybond is acquiring more and more protocol on liquidity which can be used in the pools to stabilize and to further push the liquidity especially inside the stable pools. So that's very exciting, very looking into Jelly Bond here, one of the most complicated protocols that we are going to bring and definitely something you should check out in its dedicated video to understand it fully. And lastly, we're going to introduce Jelly Steak. Jelly Steak is the way to stake your jelly and Jelly Steak will be interesting and will have some new things that you may have not seen in the past and it also sets the ground for the whole Jelly token and its utility. When you think about a, a token, a utility token, a governance token inside a system, you really want to think about how do you give this token utility. And when it comes to Jelly, Jelly gets its utility from being used inside the pools, from being used as collateral, from being used inside the whole ecosystem, so really getting the utility and the usage. But the fundament of Jelly is going to be that it profits from all the protocols in the whole universe, in the whole Jellyverse, and from the, all of those protocols, it will collect protocol revenues and distribute this to Jelly stakers. So this is very powerful. If you look at the DeFi industry so far, and if you look at other projects, there are not many projects, if not projects out there, who can connect their, their own token, their own governance token to a complete ecosystem, but not only to one or maybe two protocols. So this is going to be exciting. The more people build on Jellyverse, connect their protocols to the Jellyverse economy, the more transaction fees and the more real yield Jelly is going to get over staking. This will incentivize and 
um, yeah, give the token a base value that a lot of other tokens are not able to claim. In a nutshell, Jellyverse is an ecosystem pushing forward the utility on DeFi Meta Chain. It's a community building on top of DeFi Chain. It's a community that wants to push forward the vision of DeFi 3.0, of real yield, of utility and sustainability. We're trying to incorporate the most attractive and the most resilient smart contracts out there, improve them, create a strong ecosystem and use this to build really, really a strong fundament for DeFi Meta Chain. We're focusing on reward assets, we're focusing on capital efficiency and on real yield. And with that being said, I think we summarized it pretty well. If you have any questions, leave us a like or subscribe there. We're going to explain all the other protocols in more depth. And with that, have a nice day. See you next time.